Thanks for downloading this episode of the Nerdball Podcast. Brought to you by my basement of goodies behind me and all the children's toys around me. Um, I don't know when I'll get back to in person, but this has worked out really well. And really, it's just the, the in person stuff is just the videos on YouTube. Uh, but I think those are going well. I got a new camera, so at least my face looks uh, nice. You can really see all the gray in my beard uh, and my shiny head. Uh, but thank you. Thank you all for liking, subscribing, sharing to this podcast. Letting me know uh, there's been a couple people when I see them out in the wild, a couple people saying, um, you know, you should have this person on or reach out to this person or I like this interview. There were some some comments on a Facebook page that were good about my my latest episodes. So it's it's all good. It's all we're all uh, one big happy podcast family here at the Nerd Ball Podcast. And that's uh, partly uh mostly because of you guys not partly mostly so thank you all for listening um this episode uh is, uh <laughs> it's not for everyone i have had a friend who's like hey when you guys when you have the football players on i don't listen i go hey that's fine there's there's some people say i only listen to the people that i know and that's okay too that's what's good about this podcast is you don't have to listen to all the episodes it would be nice if you downloaded all the episodes at least uh but you don't have to listen to them all there that's why i try to have a mixture of different different guests, different people. And today is, is no different. I had three tight end, three of my tight ends on that I coach. And then towards the end, it brought in some more football players that they all slept over at, at uh, someone's house and had a good time last night. So it's, 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 uh, there's podcasts. These episodes are for someone just might not be for everyone. So, uh, these guys were great. It was fun talking to them. Uh, I also like doing this kind of stuff because it gets them talking in a more like interview style setting or more personal than they're used to than just you know looking at snap snaps on their snapchat and, and that kind of stuff so and text messages so it's good for them and, and good for me because i get to know these guys a little bit better and and uh it was fun so uh thanks for listening uh keep keep liking sh- uh, sharing subscribing reviewing to the podcast let's get this thing uh, to the moon thanks hey i'm zach schroeder i'm matthew hubbard i'm abram Heyer, and this is the nerdball podcast is the Nerdball Podcast with Lorenzo Melcher. Man, first take, nailed it. You guys oh, probably, yes. had, you, you probably haven't even slept. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we slept forever. All right, <laughs> All right guys. Well, uh, well, thanks for, for coming on the podcast early this morning. I wasn't sure when, when you asked Zach what time, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be a hard one for you guys. But you're here, and you made it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So, so in reality, how many, how much uh, sleep did you guys get? We actually got a good amount of sleep. What About like seven, seven hours. I got oh. nine, like eight hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Was- you guys, you guys aren't lying. So, because usually when, uh, when me and my buddies would hang out together, we wouldn't sleep at all. No, we actually got some good sleep. Yeah, last we night. did. We put on uh, what movie? You <laughs> we were watching the, uh, the Texas dictator. Alabama game, and then we yeah. watched the Dictator. We watched yeah. the Dictator too. It was funny. Okay, all right. Uh, did you guys care who won that game? Because I obviously, oh, well, you can't see my Texas clock, but there's my Texas clock. Right oh there. yeah, I wanted Texas to win. We I wanted Alabama to lose. Yeah. I hate Alabama. Yeah. I didn't really. I just didn't want Alabama to win. That was such a good game too, and it went from thirteen to nine <laughs> to uh, several touchdowns in a span of like five minutes. Yeah, that yeah, was good. Uh, also, did you guys pay attention to that tight end screen that they ran? I don't know if you guys saw. It. I did. I did kind of see it. I, I, t- I immediately texted uh, Coach Connor. I was like, "Hey, we need to put in a tight end screen." He goes, "I was thinking the same thing when I saw that." Oh, that would be awesome! <laughs> no, 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 not. <laughs> what is you? So, doing? so, so for for people who are listening or watching and don't know, these three are the tight ends that I coach. Uh, I coach many tight ends, but these are the ones that play varsity. Uh, and I decided to, uh, I will see how it goes, decided to have him on the podcast, but so far so good. Um, <laughs> I, uh, Hey, w- when you guys, I-, I just had a question because you guys brought up the Texas Alabama game. When you guys watch college football, do you guys like pay attention to anything in particular or you just, you just watch a football game? I usually just watch the football game. Yeah. Uh, I kind of just watch my position. And yeah. Then what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really watch too much for college football, but. The no, kickoff a lot different. The special team is pretty a lot different, though. Yeah, yeah. So he's not even a real fan. So honestly, just make me like. <laughs> <play more. laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> one thing that happened Friday night, and um, uh, I, I, <laughs> that's it. Just reminded me when you're when you're talking shit to Matt. Um, when we were out there, when we were, it, it was like a big third down, and I asked Coach Connor in the headset. I got okay. Coach, I was like, "Who do you want in?" It's it was like third and eight or something. I don't know. I was like, "Who do you want in?" Hubbard's in right now. He goes, "I don't know." You choose. I'm like, "It hires right beside me." I think I have my arm on his shoulder pad, and I look at him. He's like, "Put me in, put me in." And I'm like, I oh, will stay with Hubbard. We'll stay with Hubbard. And he like, <laughs> after after the huddle broke out from the sideline, you like stood right there for a while and you like looked right at me. I don't remember what you said, but you <laughs> you were not happy. <laughs> no, it was one of those plays where uh, you were like, all right, you're going in, and it was pass play, and then and then Matt was like, nah, keep me in. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was yeah. like, you little selfish. <laughs> Uh, I think. Did you tell me something later that night where you're like, if if you if Matt ever does that again, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what what I like, uh, and this is, just, I mean, I've been coaching for a while, but, but what I like is that seemingly, I mean, obviously you guys like each other. You just all slept under the same roof. Um, but I like I like that you guys have you guys all you have such really good personalities. And I was talking to Coach Connor. Sometimes when you're the head coach of a football team, your team just has a personality. And as you're building teams year after year, you try to like rein stuff in or like try to figure stuff out, whatever. For you guys, I told them for you guys, your person you guys are all such knuckleheads. And it drives <laughs> me crazy. It drives me crazy. But I have nothing to say to point to to say, like, all right, you guys don't practice well. And then in the game, here are the situations where that comes to bite you in the ass because it doesn't happen a lot. And I have to just let you guys be you and and roll with it. And you guys come game time, you guys flip a switch and you guys are totally different people. But it's very it's very difficult for me as a coach to be like, uh, how do I how do I handle these knuckleheads when they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing? <laughs> I, have you guys just always been like, like goofballs? Are you more goofballs when you're all together? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. uh, Especially uh, when with David. <laughs> yeah, David. <laughs> David. So, so is he just like another, another? Is, was he just not invited to the sleepover? No, he's here. He's here. Oh, he's he down. is there. <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps. So, was there four of you? There was more. No. Sam's here. Oh, uh, Gavin's here. Yeah. Oh my. Well, yeah. You're, where are you guys at? We're at my house, yeah. Oh, okay, so so um, were they? Were these other guys sad that they didn't get asked on the podcast? Yeah, oh, Sam. you should have heard Sam. Sam. Oh, you should have <laughs> heard Sam. He was like, "Give me Mount Snap <laughs> right now! So I'm the best DB in Northwest Ohio. Give me Mount Snap. <laughs> oh my god! What uh, is this? Something you guys regularly do? Just have people just have big sleepovers yeah, or what? Week, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just no special reason. No, but we yeah. usually watch like a fire or football game. Okay, all right. Um, so did everybody get a good amount of sleep, or are there always people that are just like, "Hey, I'm just staying up all night." Uh, usually, usually David just, stayed up pretty late. Yeah, David always stays up pretty late. But... Just by himself? Well, he, <laughs> yeah. David's he a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, What do you What do you like best when you guys all get together? What do you like best about it? Like so obviously something's bringing you together multiple times. Like what 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 do you like about it? Uh, we'll go with Zach first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like either like watching the fights together, uh, like going crazy. Do like bet on them and stuff, or yeah. uh, when we like play Madden, it gets real competitive, stuff like that. Do you, do you guys bring like because uh, there's a bunch of you in the house? Do you just use one system and take turns, or do you guys bring stuff and and have more games? We usually just take turns, use the okay. same. Mm-hmm. Right. Matt, what about you? Uh, I just like everybody's got their own little way. Everybody's funny in a different way. Yeah. yeah. We can we can make jokes with each other without like getting mad or anything sometimes. Uh, everybody's <laughs> so, really funny and we all got our own personality. I yeah. Think we bond well together. Is there is there someone's personality that stands out more than anybody else's? Uh, David, well, obviously David. Sam. Sam I wouldn't Sam say David. I wouldn't say it's in a great way. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was shocked to hear David's name before Sam. But yeah, okay. I mean, because David, David is a another knucklehead, but at least he's defense <laughs> only, so I don't have to deal with him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Abram, what about you? What 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 is what is like when you guys like are the? I would assume th- there's so many of you guys involved that it has to be planned. 
right? Like, oh, I, everyone's coming over. Like, so when you, what do you look when you when this is planned? What is like? Oh man, I can't wait to do X Y Z. Uh, I don't know. It's probably <laughs> it's probably just a laugh, honestly, because every time I come over here, I get a cramp in my abs from just laughing. <laughs> and on the way home, me and Zach went to the store, or we all went to where we go. To pull, 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 oh yeah, we went to the BG game yesterday. Okay. I don't think I've laughed more in my life, and it, <laughs> I, and they say uh, laughing makes you live longer. So, yeah. <laughs> you guys do that so much uh, in inappropriate times. You guys are gonna live forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one. Is the funniest part. Well, maybe if we didn't have to run so many uh, H hitches and H arrows, we'd have a little more fun. <laughs> Those are my favorite. <laughs> I love the hitches and arrows. If, How about if you. <laughs> if you guys if you guys were in my shoes like and what is something you would want to practice oh buddy because because there are things that that we have to do and, and i'm sure the reason i do those hitches and arrows is just because like all right let's get moving let's get your hands let's get some passes in your hands that kind of stuff and then usually week by week, there's when we do our game plan meeting Sunday nights, so there's like, all right, well, we got to make sure we're working on this or we're going to do power differently this week or whatever. But if you had your perfect tight end world, like what, what are there drills you like, or are there, um, you know, something that you, you like just in that little in, individual period? One-on-ones. <laughs> but just blocking? No. Or passing. <laughs> you- <laughs> yeah. That's definitely a uh, receiver thing. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I like the ball security drill. Oh, I was just gonna say, I'm sure you guys like those red things. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> love that drill. <laughs> oh yeah, when we catch the hitches with the uh, the, the red, red little things, mm-hmm. slap each other. Mm-hmm. The red rockets is what I've heard they're called. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, Matt. Matt, how are you doing this year? See, uh, because you haven't played football since what freshman year? Yeah. Right? Well, how, how are you? First of all, take me through like why you decided to come out, because I remember talking to you. This is a couple summers ago. I saw you at Rivercrest and I, tur- I don't know if you remember, but I turned to you and I was like, hey, Matt, you playing football? And immediately you didn't even answer. Your dad just goes, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. So I broke my from thumb freshman oh. year <laughs> and I and I really and then. I don't know. I just didn't want to hurt my body as much sophomore year anymore. Sure. And I was playing three sports. People said I had to probably quit one just to play two because it's a lot of stress. So I, I quit sophomore year. And then I didn't play junior year because, I don't know. But Coach Connor kept texting me. <laughs> Coach, Connor, <laughs> Coach Connor kept texting me and talking to me. And then I was sweet. I would I sat at the lunch table at, with Sam and – uh, Gavin and a few other people, and we I talk about how good I was at football. Oh my year. gosh! <laughs> <laughs> and Sam, Sam, would, and Sam would always say I wasn't, so I guess I had to go out and prove it wrong. <laughs> so, so I decided to play last year, senior year, might as yeah. well. Yeah. How do you so, feel about your decision so far? It was a good decision, definitely yeah. A good. Decision. Yeah. I, I would imagine a lot of it had to do with your your friends playing and them kind of saying, "Hey, um, you know, come on out, have fun." And now you're in the the stupidest group uh, on the field, the tight ends. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Actually, Coach Connor always talks about the tight ends having to the, having to know the most because you don't just block, you're not just offensive alignment, you also just don't run routes and catch passes. You do both, so you have to know a lot. And I, I still. Schroeder, you're pretty good, but you've you've been in it since day one. Um, Hubbard, when you're out there, it's so funny to me. Like I I can bet money every. I think you know the play, but every time we call a play, and then you're like either like real slow to get lined up because you're thinking, or you're or you're talking to Josh. <laughs> That's why I messed up the one the other day. The uh, <laughs> I ran like a whip instead of an arrow. Because yeah. I was yelling at Gavin to tell me oh, what to run, and he so wouldn't funny. tell me because he was trying to figure you out. You ran an out whip and arrow at the same time. So I just went, I just ran like I kind of ran like a whip arrow, which was kind of in between of it. So it messed up the play. Yeah, but, uh, right away it's very evident because Coach Carter's like Hubbard ran the wrong route. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how panicked are you? Because I'm sure it's happened to all of you. 
how panicked are you when you get out there and the plays the signal bit and you're like shit i have no idea what i'm doing oh <laughs> If, if JT doesn't answer me, I'm just like, uh, yeah. well, I'm just going to mess it up. Anyway. <laughs> the worst is when we're in freeze and I'm like a down lineman, so I can't really you say can't. It to him. So I just have to, I usually just run a seam or an arrow. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a good point. I forget. You can't ask then. I mean, you're going to do ask your, ask the offensive tackle. But yeah. yeah. Reed won't know anything. <laughs> Reed. He just goes, I can understand. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you guys are talking. That's good. I mean, before, yeah. like, no one would say anything. So, that, so that's good. Um, but I always – I panic for you guys because sometimes Coach Cotter will be like – will call a play and he's like, does he know what he's doing? Like, what if one of you are out there, I don't know. He's like, does he know what he's doing? I just go, if you do or no, I don't know. I just go, yeah, he's good. And then we'll see what, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Probably going to be in trouble, man. <laughs> <laughs> well no because normally here's here's what's happened and, and i think it's because you guys are learning more is earlier um when you would when especially abram because you were like kind of the last one to, to join um so you are you were you were just behind and learning everything so when you'd go in there and mess up um even in practice you're like get him out get, get abram out of there and I wouldn't sometimes I'd keep you in there when, even though he told me to, because I was looking at the script and I would see what plays are coming next. I'm like, Oh, this is a good play for Abram. So I'm going to keep him in there regardless of what he said for this one. And I even told coach afterward, I go, Hey, I'm sorry. You told me to get him out of there, but I was looking at the script. And I wanted him to run these other plays. He goes, no, you're good. You're good. So, so as you, as you're learning more, there's less of, you know, get him out of there. And now there's, now there's more of me trying to figure out, all right, if it's third and nine, I got Zach and Hubbard are both gassed. And this is a perfect time for Abram to go in, you know. So he's he's uh, warming up to all three of you. So he's figured it out. Yeah, we definitely played a lot more last. Figure time. out that H yeah. feed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as as the season goes on, there, there was a time where we thought we could do thirteen personnel with all three of you on the field at one time. Oh, that would be so cool! <laughs> but but he's cooled off on that just because you all play defense. So. Uh, I so be, um, yeah, that would be awesome. So cool. So we're I, I'm still I have a little piece of paper that I've been like uh when I watch college football, I always if I see certain plays I like, I'll write them down or I'll diagram them or whatever. But I also have uh a little sheet that I write for a 13 personnel to see what plays we could run and what we could do or or how we would do it. So there may be a special time when there's like, hey, this maybe it's a two point conversion or or something, you know, but I'll see what I can do. I uh, I'll uh, I'll keep working on him. But he's like I said, he's kind of cooled off because you all play defense. So uh, we don't want to, we don't want to get you too tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you guys are when you we we uh, when we have Friday night football games, especially home games, um, I ask you a lot about like like what your favorite parts of it. But I but I know what my favorite parts are. But what do you guys like about like when you're there? Obviously, it's a it's a long day. You just you know you're at school and then you you have a couple hours after that. And you just want to play a football game. Um, is it hard for you guys to concentrate during school or are you guys just, uh, you guys are so aloof. You don't really care about, <laughs> you're just like, Hey, we're here doing school and then we're going to play this game. But what, what's the feeling on a Friday night for you guys? Abram, we'll, we'll start with Abram. Uh, I mean, school's kind of easy on Fridays. Uh, I don't really put too much effort towards, towards school. I mean, school comes kind of easy for me regardless, but oh, okay. are, you, are you smart? Are you a smart kid? Yeah, I'd say. So, so when, uh, when somebody told me that I didn't believe it because you're such a, you're, you're, I don't know. It just didn't resonate with me. But then I, but then as I continue to know you and, and all that kind of stuff, now I understand, but, but, uh, it, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. So, so as you're at school, you're, you're cruising through school because you're so smart. Uh, um, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of just think about the game all day as soon as I wake up. And then as soon as it's over, I just like, all right, next week yeah yeah how how do you how do you like film on saturdays um you don't like film hubbard no <laughs> i i, I, I kind of like film i like the, i love the breakfast yeah yeah like yeah that's breakfast. a cool thing and I if can, it's a good game watching like yourself like yeah just like play well but if it's really a bad fun. game you kind of just like i don't want to watch this yeah. i can watch film without the lifting though <laughs> don't like really, you're not a real tight end <laughs> do you hurt. do you like lifting in general i do but i don't like to lift at like 8 a.m when you're really sore 
how's coach, how's uh how's coach yonker in there <laughs> oh he, he, i don't know what 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 clicked but he's turned into a bully <laughs> <laughs> a bully huh yeah all right he's out there calling out people now <laughs> ever since i didn't let sam inside the locker <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get in like uh through right by the concessions and I opened the door to see if it was him and I closed the door again and Yonker like yelled at me so bad. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> Coach Belcher, do you remember did you do the JV lifts like years prior? Uh like run them? Yeah. Like I would be in there, but the, yeah, they would I'd have everything written down and they would do it. Yeah. You you remember uh it was Aiden Materni and David Butterfield. You remember how much they used to just like Dude, I kicked him out of a month. We were going through film, and I kicked him out on a Monday. Yeah, I remember when David David told me that he was like, ah, "Malcher kicked me out of film." <laughs> speaking, speaking of like David, I I did tell him uh, that again. You guys have such strong personalities, and it's it's me just trying to handle that and figure that out because I don't want to I don't want to squash your personalities because it's important to be who you are. So I I, I did tell David like, hey. From from last year to this year, like you're he's always gonna have that little bit of whatever it is that makes me mad. Like I can't I can't help <laughs> it. But he has he has matured and he understands a little bit more on like when to be super David and when just to be regular David. Like he, he <laughs> understands that, which I told him I appreciate because he is getting older and understanding that. And again, I don't want you guys to lose your personalities. It's my job to manage it as best I can and try to try to rate it in when we can. <laughs> Uh, that reminds me like the practices where uh we would just be like going crazy with all the jokes and stuff and then you'd just be like guys enough of that and then we'd all just be like oh oh no too's mad you guys made me cuss one time <laughs> I do. <laughs> do you do you i mean i i know i know you guys are like i shouldn't say uh, I assume you guys respect me enough to say like, all right, when we buckle down, here's what we got to do. Yeah. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm a definition of a player's coach. Like I'm gonna let you guys be you uh, because I think it helps on the other end. When I tell you guys to, to settle down or when I curse at you or whatever, then you guys are, all right, all right, let's, and now it's time to, to be quiet for five minutes so he can explain this thing or whatever. Um, do you, are there, and you don't have to name names. Are there are, in your career of coaches? Were there coaches where you're just like, I just don't want to deal with this person. And again, you don't have to name. You can just say yes. Yes. It, it, okay. For for you, Zach, how do you go about doing what you love to do when there's a coach that makes it difficult? Uh, it was. It's mainly just like the practices you got to get through, and then like the games. You're just kind of like in the zone like in the game like mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter as much to you but practices you definitely got to like work through especially if like they're like annoying you or you don't like like i don't know if they like play call or like how they set up like anything like mm -hmm. it's like for lacrosse i've had coaches like that and that i just haven't liked and it's just been really annoying but the, once, yeah. once you get in the games you kind of like do your own thing for lacrosse so i like that but football Football is easier to just like get in the zone and just play. Mm -hmm. That's what I've that's what I've noticed, especially on Fridays with you guys. Like you guys all are different, and it's almost shockingly like a big change where it's it, it's like all right, like Zach Zach is the biggest one. Matt, you're always smiling and laughing. Uh, Abram, you're you too aren't it, not as much as Matt. Matt still Matt is is sometimes in practice mode still. Uh, but that's just that's just how he is. But Zach is is the biggest one. Sometimes you don't smile a lot, and especially that Marysville game. Um, but there, there's yeah, you just don't smile sometimes, and it's uh, it's a big change. But it is like a, a, a switch you can see. Abram too. Abram smiles less, but Matt definitely is the one that's like, all right, well, he's having fun. <laughs> do you guys yeah. notice that you guys do that at all, or are you just you just you're just you? I think it just depends how much we're winning by, honestly. Sure. That, yeah. that Marysville was that Mary, crazy. Yeah, that Marysville I, game was just something different. I remember in the locker room, I was, like, throwing up before the game. That was the first really? time. Really? Throwing up before a game. Yeah, it was crazy. It was very, like, nerve-wracking. Dude, but... especially on defense, that was 
That was a crazy game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was the most, my most um, fun game that I've been a part of, or I should say most exciting. Um, The one before that was the Fairmont game when we were at home. Uh, I don't remember what grade you guys were in. No, we were Um, juniors. No, you were sophomores. I was sophomores, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, I was the corner. Yeah. It was the second. Where they were talking all the crap and everything. Over the oh, bar the bar still. still oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, then, so that that was replaced by our Marysville game this year, and it was it was exciting, obviously, because of the field goal and everything and how we played. But there's been more fun games. I was uh, because when it's exciting, it's there's up and down, so it's not always fun. Um, yeah. When Perrysburg years ago, when we hosted our first playoff game against Maslin, and we beat them like fifty six to seven, that was that was the most fun because this is a storied program, it's state championships everywhere. And we just they'd come down here and and just uh we just blow the doors off them. That the one was like, <laughs> that's when they, threw, they flew their jerseys in. With yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah Nike. I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch any of that game. I was messing around with the jacket though. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Do they still let kids go in a jacket though? Oh, no, no, there was too many fights. Too. Yeah. Did you guys well, fight anybody? No, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna tell you any of that. <laughs> We didn't fight anybody. Uh, we got in a few, uh, few scrambles. Like West- How- <laughs> scrambles. <laughs> How old were you guys then? It's like middle school. Yeah. Okay. All right. They blocked it off like eighth grade and seventh grade year, I thought. Yeah, it was mainly like when I was like HPI and like. Oh, yeah. Fourth, and it was and the like worst because that was the best school, thing. You know? Like fifth and sixth grade, I think. That was yeah. one that right before they, they like banned it. <laughs> so you got in some scrambles. <laughs> Um, do you are those other guys still there? Yeah, you know, uh, you guys can go grab them if you want. I'll if, go grab David. <laughs> okay. Go grab them all. Uh, Sam's gonna go crazy. No, 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 don't grab Sam. Say I didn't ask. <laughs> all right, all right, don't go Please, no, I was don't, gonna say if someone else was saying it for me. Oh man, so what, what do you guys do? You, are you guys gonna all hang out all day together and watch more football, or what's what do you guys what's your plan? Uh, we're probably going to play some Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. Siege. Yeah, you guys keep telling me about that. I should probably get that and check it out. We might go get some food. I yeah. think they were talking about uh, – I know David oh. and Matt have work later, and if their manager's not there, we get free food. So I wouldn't say that on the podcast. <laughs> well, I, to, <laughs> I don't think their manager's going to listen to the podcast. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh, where, do they, where do they work, though, so I can get free food? Penn Station. <laughs> I'll ask David about it, see if I can score free stuff. I love Penn Station. It's just expensive. Uh, David will probably give you free food if, if the manager's there. <laughs> How does David have a job? David's going to get fired. I, I have no clue. I, he, uh, one of, uh, so one of, someone in his grade uh, works there, and I think he got in somehow through that. Oh, okay. But, uh, there was another kid that worked there. I think he graduated. Um, he played football his I think it's like freshman. Oh, Jack. I don't remember his last name though. What's that? Jack Mitchell. Yeah, he worked there for a while too. He still yeah. works there. Does he? Yeah. Do you do you guys have jobs during the season or no? Uh not during the season. I work I work in the off season. I work at Total Sports and I work at a golf course as well. What golf course? Uh Riverby. Do you do you do you play golf or no? Uh sometimes. Yeah. We used to go to River B. That's the one, uh, like going towards BG. Is that the one? Is that that one? That we one. used to play. Yeah, we used to play there. Uh, they used to have. I don't know if they still do. They used to have foot golf. Uh, oh. Where, oh yeah. We play you, with like you play with a soccer ball, and the and yeah. the holes are like gigantic. I I don't I don't think they do that anymore. But no, uh, that might be a seasonal thing. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Zach, do you work in the off season? Yeah. Or. Off season, I do not. Uh, during the season, I work at sidelines. Oh my! Oh, God. do you? <laughs> Look at this oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, say, I said not. To bring David. Sam. Yeah, we said. <laughs> I heard your capital on my name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> DB one, best DB in Northwest Ohio. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but you, uh, you, you got a, a pet, uh, um, PI the other day, so you're bad now. Yeah, you're holding me back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually working. I'm like some tight ends in this group. But... You, you can oh. put the wait, turn, oh. t- turn the camera. Let me see him. <laughs> Sam. What? 
<laughs> How you doing, man? How you doing, man? You all right? You're a superhero. You ain't no superhero. He just ran upstairs right after. This yeah, movie. I heard your captain on my name talking to <laughs> I, I, knew, sure. I knew I knew you were gonna come up here because that's that's just how you are. <laughs> you guys see, I go, I go, Melcher wants to speak to Gavin and David. He goes, and me. <laughs> oh, Sam. <laughs> I Sam, 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 <laughs> Sam, you can have Sam, you can have your own episode. How about that? You're dang right, I can. <laughs> you're, you're, your personality is too big in this room. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I uh, I sat behind your sister on the JV bus yesterday, and she was she was throwing shade your way. So just so you know. Hey, personally, I remember when Joe was throwing shade your way. And you All right, we got we don't gotta talk about that. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> okay, lock your car though. Yeah. How do you feel about that? My car is that, that, uh, Here, Grab my keys. That whole thing about Joe. I don't know. I, I can't do anything. What do you want me to do about it? I can't do anything about it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like say something to the coach about it. No. I'm. I'm just telling you. Uh, now we're we're not friends. Though. Although he he has been trying to be really chatty with me on Snapchat lately. So. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's not honestly not like other coaches. Like I, all my other coaches in any other sport, would they just be like. Do not add me on Snapchat. I do not want to talk to you. I've had a couple travel ball coaches that uh, add me on Snapchat. Yeah, that's different. You just like add us, and you're like, "Yo, what's up, guys?" So, so here's here's my thing. So it wasn't always that way. Uh, when I was a freshman coach, I would tell the kids like, "Hey, I got the social medias, but you know, I'll be friends with you after high school." But what I'm learning, I, what I learned, and it's fairly obvious that that's how you guys communicate. Like, so if I want to communicate with you guys effectively if i need to tell you guys something or if i just you know want to be a, a better coach i gotta be on your level whatever level that is if it's playing video games if it's using snapchat if it's you know you guys come on here and chit-chatting like that's that's what i want but i'm more you guys all right yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what up guys <laughs> but anyway I... what's up gavin what's up coach <laughs> oh, man, look at that hair! Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, th that's just me. And, and you know, I, if you just want me to be your coach, I'll just coach you, and I'll deal with you for a couple hours on, on during the week and a couple hours on Friday. But if you guys want that more personal relationship, then I'll do that too. I, whatever you guys want is what I want, and you know, if, if you guys like it, cool. If not, then. Don't add me on Snapchat. So it's as simple as that. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. If you didn't add me on Snapchat and, like, say, you like, emailed me or something, I probably wouldn't have answered until, like, today. <laughs> like, I just, I just like, don't look at, like, my email or anything, like, as much as I do, like, my Snapchat oh, or, like, my phone. I wouldn't have answered until like, next year. Yeah. Well, I even, like, I, I, I'll look you guys up on Instagram first, but I, I noticed that the, the thing you guys use the most is Snapchat. Like, if I go on Instagram, there's, like, somebody has like three posts i'm like all right well they definitely don't use this or i think uh i, I was trying to look up matt maybe and oh. there's like not even a picture on on like the it, it might have been a different matt hubbard but there's there was like no picture so like <laughs> i'm yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> blind, man. no i have a picture it must have been the wrong one. Oh, me, I, must one. have been the hubby 400 <laughs> i think that i think that's what it was but yeah it's so i learned that snapchat is the easiest but then What's hard with Snapchat though is when I type your names in to search for people, I don't know who's who, so I don't want to like friend like Everyone. the wrong person. Yeah. Mm. So so that's why I just had I I found Schroeder and that was easy and Hire was easy, but then Matt I didn't know if you had one or I couldn't find it, so I I didn't want to like uh I I didn't want to like find the wrong one. That's a hillbilly. <laughs> David. 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 What? <laughs> come come here, David. Hey, David. Man, you're all there. Look at you. Sam, you're a bum. Look at you. Oh, <laughs> who said that, bro? See, Spiegel? I can see that reflection off your head right now. David, <laughs> it is shiny. I tried to wipe it down. David, I was talking to you, uh, talking about you earlier uh, and um, how I kicked you and Aiden out of film one day uh, and, and how, much, how much you've grown and how much you're still a knucklehead, but at least you know when to dial it back and not be super, super David knucklehead all the time. So, so thank you for yeah. that. Also, thank you for playing defense only, so I don't have to deal with you anymore. So, <laughs> of course, <laughs> anything for you. <laughs> um, say, how was the football game yesterday? 
It was good. Yeah. I'm not to lie. We kind of put our own. We put our own football. We went to my dad's office. We put our game on. So we're watching our game. Pretty much is what happened. Uh, Sam, I think last year I asked you for a shirt and you never got me one. Well, Melcher, I also think I asked you to have me on Snap and you never did. So it's I just did ways. yesterday. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah. I'll see you at me on Snap. So no, you Maybe. didn't. He literally said he did. No, he did not, dude. Maybe it was the so- the wrong what? Sam Lewanson. <laughs> yeah, you did then, because it I'm wasn't just... me. No, I added you. I <laughs> promise you, you didn't. I'll send what? you a snap right now, Melcher. Okay, cool. Yeah. What, what size are you? Two X. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? No matter what size I would have said, he would have said yeah, he, would have said, about it. he had that pretty long in his head for like the past hour. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thanks, Zach. I'll give you Matt's too. All right. There, there, Sam. I added you. Dang right. All right. Now we're now you'll never send me a snap, so it's worthless anyway. So probably. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I won't keep you keep you away from whatever the hell you guys are going to do. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming to chit chat with me. Uh, the other guys off screen too. Um, I I do like that. I had a I had a lot of friends in high school that you know were football players and some that weren't. And uh, but I do like that you guys are all friends and you know it puts into perspective all that shit talking you guys do because it also makes also know that uh, as stupid as it sounds to you guys that you guys do love each other and you guys are really good friends and you know whatever you guys say you know you guys are just goofing off. So uh, again, it's it's cool that you guys are all there hanging out, enjoy yourselves. Don't be don't do anything stupid. Stay out of trouble. Uh, if you guys ever need help with anything, let me know. So uh, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Yep, see you all right. Thank you, right. Coach. See ya. Yeah. Thanks again to all those football players who were on the podcast. Zach, Zach, um, Matt, Abram, Gavin, David, and Sam. Uh, <laughs> Sam's going to hate that I put him last, but I didn't even do that on purpose, Sam. That was just what I did uh, for coming on the podcast today. It was cool listening to him uh, just just talk about, you know, about, about being friends and about being football players and, you know, what they're doing. And, you know, it's it's it reminded me of me and my friends. Like, it was cool to to see like obviously nothing changes. Like, people are still going to be friends. It's not like 20 years ago, people people were friends and now they aren't friends like that doesn't change. But to see that they go do things together and they went to a football game and then play video games and watch football and you know all that stuff it's it's cool to see all the the things they do together and that they are friends and you know i made a point at the end like sometimes when they're out there just yelling at each other or, or messed around it's like man do you just like each other you know but but to see them you know all hang out uh it, it is a cool thing and it is uh something obviously that makes our program stronger when there's people on the team that like each other so it, it was cool it was, it was cool talking to them and i appreciate them I'm sure it was a uh, uh, early wake up call for them, but uh, but it was fun, and, and I'm glad you know they were able to do it. I'll have more football players on because it is something I like to do, and, and they like it, so so why not? Um, follow the YouTube page. Uh, I am getting, I think I'm up to almost 120 subscribers. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not a, a billion subscribers like some of the ones my kids watch, but hey, this is just little me, and this is what's happening. Uh, if you know someone that would like to come on the podcast, reach out to the Nerdball Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, you can, all the social medias, uh, Instagram, Facebook's the Nerdball, Nerdball Podcast, Twitter, or X, as it's called now, is the Nerdball Pod. Uh, maybe I should make a Snapchat for the Nerdball Podcast. Um, maybe, probably. Uh, I don't know what I'll use or if I'll use it, but maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, but check all that out and that's how you can to reach this podcast if you have any questions or, or guest ideas or anything like that so go ahead and do that uh i appreciate you all and as always thanks to big daddy graphics uh, big daddy graphics cuttlefish graphics real jp multimedia and perrysburg junior high stem lab for always helping out the podcast thanks for listening we'll see you next time <laughs>